all around New Zealand's remote, evergreen fields and hills. Miracles are taking place. Here, nature's amazing magicians and our friends, the honeybees, transform nectar from Manuka tree flowers into the liquid gold we all know and love. Manuka honey. For nearly 50 years, Convita has connected people around the world to nature's healing power, bringing you the many benefits of New Zealand Manuka honey from our hives to your home. Convita's story begins in 1974 when two beekeepers, Claude Stratford and Alan Belgian, met. They were generations apart, but united by their belief that nature and the food it provided was the remedy the world needed for its problems and ailments. Alan, Convita's co-founder, first became aware of the healing power of bees and nature while living on a remote New Zealand island. There, he witnessed a farmer applying manuka honey to a horse's wound to speed up its healing. We uh, found the address, a small house on a small piece of land down the road. And um, Linda and I walked in and were greeted by this small lady, very nice friendly lady. Her name was Frida, Frida Stratford. And she introduced us to Claude Stratford. So that was uh, a very, very pivotal moment in the, in the genesis of Convita. I was 25, my wife was 23, and we're sitting with people that were old enough to be my grandfather and grandmother, and we were doing things that we recognised and knew, you know, whole foods, herbal teas, and we were talking about health and nutrition. That was amazing for us because up to that point, I had not met anybody outside of my own generation that had knowledge of those things. Ahead of their time, Alan and Claude mm -hmm. believed in the benefits of manuka honey, propolis, and the powerful natural mm -hmm. properties of the hive. They worked with a philosophy to tread lightly with nature, preserve the purity of natural products, and use science to deepen their knowledge and application of nature's wisdom. Through leading scientific and clinical research, we now understand that manuka honey is the most powerful and complex honey in the world, unlike any other honey in its potency and natural healing power. Today, many of us live in cities, which means we're living longer, yet many still suffer with health issues. At the same time, there's a growing realization connecting with nature keeps us both mentally and physically well. So we asked, how can Convita help people live better? You know, if every day you're creating products and solutions that help everyone's life just improve a little bit more. Um, and, and as I say, you, you've seen some of our forests, thousands of hectares of beautiful, unspoiled countryside. When our team connect with those forests, you can feel the energy, you can feel the passion, and you can feel the determination to actually make sure that we share that with consumers around the world. Nature has provided the answers we seek for better health. Bees are our inspiration, and Manuka honey, along with products from the hive, are our solution. In Aotearoa, New Zealand, the Manuka tree is considered a taonga species, a treasure to our indigenous Māori people. Manuka honey is precious because of its unique health-giving properties. It contains over 2,000 different natural compounds, more than 20 times higher than pasture honeys such as clover. But like treasure, manuka honey is also rare. Manuka flowers bloom for just four to six weeks every year. No wonder manuka honey makes up less than 1% of global honey production. The connection between our care for 1.6 billion bees 
our own specially bred and selected Convita Manuka trees growing in our own remote Manuka forests results in nature's most potent and pure Manuka honey from our hives to your home. We make the most of the Manuka flower's short growing season by pollinating our very best trees and preserving their seeds so that our Manuka flowers have the strongest genes possible. We not only select the best trees and take seed directly from those trees, but we will take uh, two trees that are high performing that may have high levels of DHA and we'll cross those trees, so we'll do pollination between the trees. Because Manuka trees bloom for only a short time, honeybees need extensive forests where they can forage for nectar exclusively from Manuka flowers. This ensures that our honey is sourced only from Manuka flowers, earning it the honourable title of monofloral Manuka honey. Convita's Manuka trees are carefully bred and selected for increased flower density, better resistance to disease, proved nectar quality with higher levels of the unique natural compounds that drive its potency than wild Manuka trees but it takes a community to achieve success. To help Convita become the honey powerhouse it is today, we've created partnerships with local landowners. So we worked with them and it really meant that we were able to um, get a lot of learnings, um, both from how our cultivars back then were actually performing, how it took in the environment. So over the years, we've continued to plant and expand. And during that time, we've had the opportunity to partner with landowners who have existing Manuka and talk to them about the opportunity to partner further with Convita um, planted material as well. Through these partnerships, we've planted over 7 million Manuka trees across New Zealand reforesting marginal land and providing a pure source of Manuka nectar for our bees to make our precious Manuka honey. One of our partnerships is with Blue Sky Pastures in the remote central plateau of the North Island. I have a brand new seedling in my hand. Um, here at Blue Sky we've planted 400 hectares of new Manuka seedlings. We've planted them over a three year period. Our Manuka forest program is part of our sustainability strategy within Convita to enhance and, and, and the wild manuka that grows on this property. Whenever we plant our manuka trees, we particularly look for harsh, uh, high lands, barren lands to restore the ecosystem. So plant manuka trees successfully. Manuka trees itself will be able to recreate the eco ecosystem. And now, a, for example, in our Makino forest, we have uh, created a habitat environment for over 10 kiwi birds families now. And we even recreated habitat environment for blue ducks. Blue ducks, they are very rare. Honeybees and the golden honey they produce hold a special place in the hearts of humankind. And no one gets closer to these amazing creatures than our beekeepers. My name is Marco. Uh, I am a beekeeper working for Convita for five years now. Usually our day starts at, at shed where we prepare all equipment depending on the uh, time of the year, depending on the time of the season. So we prepare all the gear, uh, make the plans with the team and then carry on to our duties. So, <clears throat> for example, in this case, we already deploy hives to second Manuka crop. This is our second opportunity. And uh, now we're just going to check the hives and see how they look like. Are they up to strength? Uh, is there enough space in uh, honey supers for honey? So do we need to bring more honey supers or do we need to do something, you know, just help them produce more honey. Beekeeping is both a science and art that Convita is proud to sustain and protect. And like art, beekeeping enhances the environment around it. We also wanted to do it in a way that we could hand on heart say that we had left this world better than what we found it. So the things that we did we wanted those things to be a positive force around environment and a healthy ecosystem. 
we were fortunate because beekeeping, the DNA of beekeeping is about, is about building ecosystem, you know, building pollinators, building floral source, be, you know, as an enhancement to the environment to actually create a, a beautiful and positive and productive ecosystem. The health of our bees and their hives is of the utmost importance to us. To keep a finger on the pulse of our hives, our beekeepers use cutting edge technology to make sure our bees are in excellent condition. So we check the monitor, check the antennas, that everything is transmitting correctly because the ModuSense transmits from cellular data to satellite data and it transmits the weight, the temperature and the humidity from the scales through the hive. We combine our beekeeping data to get a picture of the inner workings of all our hives, even our most remote ones. So the data comes in from the field devices and we're able to map that out uh, so that we know where all the devices are located and we're able to drill down on each device to be able to understand what's going on in real time in every hive that's got a device located on it. In the spirit of Kaitiakitanga, we're here to make sure that we tread lightly and we have care for everything that's in our ecosystem. We actually have a bee welfare code where we have actually set out a charter of how we want to manage our bees and how we want to care and nurture our bees. And really what it comes down to is good practice. It comes down to ensuring that um, the hives are healthy, the hives are fed well, that we manage pests. Um, we, we make sure the hives are as resilient as possible, so to do that we have our own queen breeding program and we breed our own queens for resilience against things like disease, we breed for productivity, we breed for a number of um, positive attributes which will mean that the colony that is created through these queens can be as healthy and um, as productive as it possibly can be. My name is Lindenberg, I'm a beekeeper uh, from Brazil. Call me Linden if you want. Uh, I've been beekeeping since the 90s. I'm the manager of the Queen Production. Uh, together with my team of experienced beekeepers, we produce 11,000 queens from October to March. The Queen Bee presides over a matriarchy of up to 60,000 members in each hive which requires vast quantities of nectar and pollen to maintain good health. 95% of the bees in, in, the, in a beehive are females, are the worker bees, and every worker bee can be a queen one day. What makes the queen is the way that the bees will feed. So there are not enough information about how naturally a hive decides which, which larva is its right to be a queen but uh, in, in the way that we, that we transfer to the cell caps, every single, every single larva will be uh, a queen. And we are looking to ensure that um, our beekeeping standards are the highest they possibly can be through our apprenticeship scheme where we train new people to look after our bees um, in the best possible way. Saving a species is a global effort. To protect the future of bees, we've partnered with conservation groups to support bee protection and urban beehive schemes in New Zealand and overseas like saving the wild in Africa. The greatest challenge that we face in Kenya is not poaching. It is actually habitat loss. It's a vanishing landscape. And so through our partnership with Combita, what we're essentially doing is we're securing wildland through beekeeping and we're creating jobs that work in harmony with nature. Manuka honey is one of nature's special gifts. It's renowned for its exceptional health-giving properties and unique flavour. To ensure our honey retains these qualities, its journey is carefully controlled by Convita every step of the way. When the Manuka blooming season is over, the honey boxes are carefully removed from the hive and taken to our own extraction facilities. Many of our hives are in locations so remote we can only reach them by helicopter. We're in our storage area here where all the honey comes from 
other branches in Convita to have the honey extracted. Um, so it comes from various locations in New Zealand. Uh, once it arrives here, we take the information that's provided from the beekeepers and also the information on each pallet and we separate the honey into batches based on UMF, uh, the type of honey and also the location and the, the, the UMF levels. All of our um, product um, ends up being extracted by Convita, so it will go to one of two of our facilities based in either Tiamoto or in the Hawke's Bay for us to manage the next part of the process, which is essentially um, hives uh, frames are removed from the boxes from the hive. The next step in the process is removing the frames filled with honeycomb from the honey boxes. To ensure all of the natural goodness is preserved, our Manuka honey is extracted at 35 degrees Celsius. This is the natural year-round temperature inside a healthy beehive. The honeycombs are cleaned and placed into an extractor, which spins the precious honey out at high speed. Meanwhile, our filter system removes beeswax and other debris, leaving behind the purest raw honey. This is decanted into drums and taken to Convita's state-of-the-art honey facility, where it will undergo rigorous scientific testing for its purity, potency, quality and efficacy. Next, our logistics team processes and categorizes the raw Manuka honey to prepare it for the next stages of production and refinement. My name is Bryce Smith. I'm the logistics manager for Convita New Zealand, uh, looking after the warehouse uh, for Convita. Okay, so we're just uh, going through uh, an inbound honey process at the moment. So we've received some honey drums from a supplier. Our team will go through and verify the drums received from the supplier and then check their weights on our, on our scales. Someone will go through and then check that all the appropriate drums that were required for order two are now being presented. Once they're happy and it's been double checked, we will then pick, using the same RF scanners, the drums to the order. The drums then get labelled up with the work order number and how many pallets are contained within this order. And you can see here, this is going for this particular batch. We have written the locations of all of those before we have passed it on to production. When they require to make this batch, five days in advance of production, they will move this to a warming room. And we could probably move to the warming room next because that's the next part of the journey for the honey. The next milestone in the honey journey is the filter room. This involves a careful process to ensure our honey maintains its familiar golden and uniform colour. This is the first filter, so it'll pick up anything bigger than the holes, straight through the drain into our decant, and we've got an automated system which will, we put the information in, it'll transfer it to our, our homogenising tank. The honey cooling process features one of our founders, Alan's, favourite part of the process, the rotator. This is one of Alan's uh, most proud uh, elements of the whole process. And it's called a votator. And as you can see, it's spinning. It's actually a big drum that is cooled. So it cools the honey down uh, very, very quickly and also adds to that beautiful mouthfeel at the same time. But most importantly, of course, it's, it's locking in all those beneficial compounds um, for our, the health of our consumer. New Zealand Manuka honey is highly sought after around the globe, so proving the origin of every product is incredibly important. Our tailor-made AMS traceability system can track and trace every single jar of honey back to the original hives that the honey came from to ensure its authenticity and quality. Well, AMS is our apiary management system. It was actually um, a piece of um, technology that was well, it's being developed for Convita. So it's something that we own. It's our own internal management system. And it plays a really integral part in helping us gather information 
we can then use for operational decision makings. We are watching them and the, uh, we can see from the load cells that are sitting underneath they'll show whether there's weight going on which means that honey is coming into the hive or if there isn't that we need to actually go and feed the hive so that will drive some operational decision making. But what it does too is it's the first step I suppose in the whole traceability system in that um, we monitor and log and measure performance each step of the way and then we use that information further down the track when we're actually making decisions around how we're extracting the honey and then when we drum the honey and pull it through to production here. The only thing sweeter than honey is home. We pack all of our honey in our hometown of Paiangaroa, New Zealand and control every step of our supply chain. Manuka honey is far more complex than other honey types and Convita knows that better than anyone else in this industry. For nearly five decades we've worked with cutting-edge science to produce bee products of the finest quality. Our scientists and research collaborators around the world have had multiple research papers published in international peer-reviewed scientific journals. So look in the science team here in Convita we have more than 20 staff with uh, scientific degrees. Um, we have three PhDs here as well. And we've held um, a number of students over the years help them gain their master's qualification and their PhD qualifications through the work that they've been doing with us on uh, you know, that characterization and the bioactive properties of uh, manuka trees, the nectar of the manuka tree, and also manuka honey as well. In 1974, Convita Laboratories were established to pioneer the science and research to deliver the highest quality products with proven efficacy. Convita's laboratory is the most advanced in house manuka honey testing lab in the world and the only one with government recognition and International Lab Standards Accreditation, NZMPI and IANZ. The unique natural compounds found in Manuka honey give it beneficial qualities and its distinctive colour and taste. As the level of purity increases, so does the potency of Manuka honey. So it is the responsibility of our laboratory and our scientists to ensure that our honey meets the highest standards. The New Zealand Government's Ministry for Primary Industries, or MPI, enforces strict rules on exporting and classifying manuka honey. For honey from New Zealand to be legally labelled as manuka honey, it must predominantly be sourced from the nectar of manuka flowers. And for a product to be exported from New Zealand labelled as monofloral or single source manuka honey, it must contain minimum specified levels of four characteristic natural compounds found in manuka honey and it must also contain manuka pollen DNA. Exceptional products need to be tested with a rigorous system. The unique manuka factor or UMF system measures the potency and purity of manuka honey and is the only independently certified quality mark. The UMF rating system is the gold standard in manuka honey testing. It is the most comprehensive and internationally recognized quality assurance system for New Zealand manuka honey. The UMF rating system measures the presence and quantity of four natural compounds found in manuka honey to validate manuka honey potency, authenticity, purity, shelf life and freshness. What you have here is on the top we have methyl glyoxal. So this is the compound that we talked about having antibacterial activity. Um, and as I said, this is a compound that you can purchase in uh, chemistry catalogues. Um, so it's important to measure other compounds to ensure that you're getting natural um, uh, manuka honey that hasn't been adulterated. The second compound, dihydroxyacetone or DHA, this is a natural compound found in the nectar of the manuka honey that converts to MGO over time um, as the honey matures. The third compound here is called leptosperin. 
and this is a large polyphenolic compound and a phenolic just means that it has this kind of ring structure that you can see. Now this is a, a natural compound found in the nectar of the Manuka flower. Um, it's not uh, available to purchase uh, synthetically. In addition to testing all of our Manuka honey for the compounds required by the New Zealand government and to gain a UMF certification at Comvita, we also test for a unique Manuka compound called Comvita lepteridine. And then this bottom compound is lepteridine. It's a polyphenolic compound because it has these ring structures in it. And this again is a unique natural plant compound discovered by Convita scientists that is only found in the nectar of the Manuka tree. This compound is not available uh, on the market, so the only source of lepteridine is natural Manuka nectar. All the test methods that we've run here have been fully validated, um, are run to the highest standard, um, are comparable to international standards, and that our quality management systems in the laboratory um, meet the standard. The bottom certificate here is an additional recognition um, that we were audited against the MPI Recognised Laboratory Programme. Um, MPI is the government agency responsible for primary industries here in New Zealand and essentially we get audited against a separate set of criteria which gains us this accreditation. This accreditation is really important because it allows us to um, export product using test results from our own laboratory. We're the only laboratory, um, honey laboratory in the country that holds this recognition. Um, it's the highest standard of recognition you can have. It essentially means the New Zealand government has trusted the Convita laboratory to generate test results and approve product for export on their behalf. The title of Manuka Honey isn't merely given, it's earned. At Convita, we carry out more than 34 different tests on every batch of honey to validate that it is of the highest quality and potency, making Convita Manuka Honey the most tested honey in the world. Convita is the leader in every facet of this industry, from the quality of our products to the science behind them. And to prove this, we have more than 23 independent audits and certifications and over 45 patents granted globally. When it comes to the science of Manuka honey, only nature knows more. Honey's healing and protective properties are legendary. Scientific studies have shown that Manuka honey has a unique antimicrobial anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties that help explain some of its reported health properties. Research has shown that medical grade Manuka honey can help fight infections and heal wounds. Honey also has a soothing effect on the throat and is recommended by public health authorities around the world as a first line home remedy for coughs and colds. Manuka honey is even effective against those um, bacterial species that are resistant to antibiotics. So it's really a powerful natural product that um, has these amazing antibacterial activities but it also has other uh, bioactivities in it. So we see that Manuka honey has antioxidant activities, it's anti-inflammatory and it can also um, uh, modulate the immune system's response. So it can actually change how cells respond to um, immune stimuli. Manuka honey contains a range of natural sugars derived from nectar, such as glucose, fructose, sucrose, and oligosaccharides. The balance and type of natural sugars and other micronutrients found in Manuka honey give it a lower glycemic or GI index than sugar which means a lower sugar spike when you eat it. Our body is in a constant battle to stay healthy and keep illness at bay. Our star soldier in this health war is our immune system, a complex network of cells distributed throughout the body and united by one goal, to keep you healthy and free from infection and disease. Antioxidants can slow down this oxidation process. 
Antioxidants are natural compounds found in a variety of foods that can help counter this damage. The simplest solutions are often natural ones. To reduce oxidative stress and support your body's natural immune system to function at its best, it's important to eat a wide range of food with high levels of antioxidants such as colorful fruits and vegetables. Manuka honey has a higher antioxidant activity compared with other honey types. So adding some Manuka honey to your diet every day in tea, coffee, smoothies, drizzled on cereal, toasts or salads or simply by the spoonful can increase your intake of antioxidants helping your body's natural immune system to function at its best. Honey has a gentle healing power. Long before technology could test for the protective properties of honey, humankind used it for centuries as a home remedy to soothe coughs and throats. When you catch a cold or have an infection, your body's immune response may overreact resulting in the excessive production of substances that lead to damage in the throat lining. Honey coats the throat lining and can soothe discomfort and scientific research has shown that compounds found in Manuka honey can inhibit biological pathways that can lead to inflammation. Because of its unique and potent antimicrobial activity, Manuka honey may also help to reduce the risk of bacteria developing antimicrobial resistance. There is a long history of using honey to support digestive function and comfort in traditional Chinese medicine. Convita is researching how the natural compound Convita lepteridine found in Manuka honey, discovered and patented by Convita, may inhibit biological pathways and enzymes that are associated with inflammation of the digestive tract. So at the moment we're really focusing on how Manuka honey can improve gut health. So we're looking at particular molecules within that honey, one of them being lepteridin, understanding the mechanisms, how it may act to improve your gut health. And in fact, we have a clinical trial going on working with Otago University and a New Zealand government funded how, uh, um, high value nutrition program to look at, understand how Manuka honey, and particularly Manuka honey that is in really high in lepteridin, may improve gut health. Across countries and civilizations, from ancient Egypt to ancient China, honey's medicinal properties have long been revered for centuries. All honey helps to hinder bacterial growth, thanks to its high natural sugar, low water acidity, and hydrogen peroxide activity, which inhibits bacterial growth. Although hydrogen peroxide is an effective antibacterial agent, it is unstable in wounds because enzymes found in all living cells can deactivate its activity. Unlike other honeys, Manuka honey has a unique non-peroxide antibacterial activity, also known as UMF, or unique Manuka factor, which escapes this deactivation this means that the unique antibacterial activity found only in Manuka honey is stable in wounds where it can inhibit bacteria, aiding healing. But it was science that really changed that. It was the work of Dr. Molan at Waikato University that started to research a range of honeys based on anecdotal evidence and research papers that had been published over the years. And he started looking at a range of honeys for their antibacterial properties and found, uh, surprisingly, that Manuka stood out head and shoulders above every other variety in the world. Thousands of articles and scientific papers have been published on the composition, uses and beneficial properties of Manuka honey, and multiple clinical trials have been conducted using Convita's medical grade Manuka honey, sold worldwide as MediHoney. Research shows that wounds dressed with MediHoney heal significantly faster with less infection than wounds dressed with conventional dressings. Animals injured in Australia's bushfires are now being treated with a Kiwi remedy. Medical grade Manuka honey is used to heal burns and prevent infections. And a conservationist from South Africa is giving out huge amounts for free. Australia's bushfires and the plight of the wildlife caught in the disaster struck a chord around the world. It brought conservationist Jamie Joseph to Australia all the way from Africa, and she came with a Kiwi answer. 
We use Manuka honey on our poaching survivors. So if a poacher shoots a rhino, for example, and cuts off the face, but the rhino is bleeding to death, and our vets will run in. And through that treatment, or it could be a gunshot wound to the foot, they use Manuka honey, and it's, it's been incredible results. You've used Manuka before? Yeah. And you had excellent results? Oh, fantastic. Results. It worked, worked amazing. Yeah. It's antibacterial, prevents infections, and for scorched animals, it's liquid gold. The need is great across Australia, and requests are flowing in. And it isn't just injured wildlife that are suffering. This baby wombat came from the fire ground. It isn't hurt, but it's lost its mother, and on its own, it would not survive. Habitat loss is also an issue. Millions of hectares have now been burned. It will take years for some to recover. But a helping hand and New Zealand honey are giving some animals sweet relief. At our core, Comvita is about healing and protecting the world and working together with nature to produce the very best honey, backed by the very best science. Before we talk about the future, we must honour the past. Although Convito was established in 1974, our roots stretch back to 1916, when one of our founders, Claude Stratford, was six years old and keeping his first beehive. Beekeeping was a passion of Claude's that continued until he died in 2013, just shy of his 103rd birthday. Claude's spirit lives on through the work of Convita today. From small beginnings, Convita has evolved into the global leader in Manuka honey and bee products. And we haven't stopped there. We continue to innovate and deliver high quality products and services to our customers around the world. We've got subsidiaries in 15 markets around the world. We trade in probably 40 markets around the world. And, and ultimately, the way that we've become globally recognised and the global number one is actually by understanding consumer needs in each of those markets through our teams on the ground. So we place huge importance in that local know-how, making sure that our teams are coming to us saying, this is what our consumer needs are, and these are the product formats that our consumers will consume. Convita has had a presence in China for over 15 years with offices in Hong Kong and Shenzhen and we're constantly innovating and expanding in the world's largest honey market. We continue to develop our business, reputation and relationship with our customers in China as we make a beeline for the future. China market's a great example. We have 200 people in market highly capable. Before we used to spend a lot of time telling the team what to do, but actually, you know, the essence of winning is when the team tell us what it takes to be more relevant to Chinese consumers. So that's what we did. Today, pure, potent Convita Manuka honey is the gold standard. 50 years of hard work has put us at the forefront of scientific research into the composition and health-giving properties of honey and bee products, with a network that spans continents. As for tomorrow, we're committed to making it better for our customers and our planet. Sustainability has always run deep in our DNA because we know the importance of being respectful to the Earth and its resources. That's why we work to save over 10 million bees every year, advocate for bee welfare and are committed to supporting and protecting bee populations. That's why we're passionate about climate action, rewilding land and supporting biodiversity and have restored and protected marginal land, planting more than 7.3 million trees in regenerated forests around New Zealand. And that's why we're committed to reducing our carbon footprint and achieving 100% recyclable, reusable or compostable packaging by 2025. A third of our site's power comes from our renewable solar system, one of the country's largest. By 2030, all of our activities will be carbon positive. Convita began with a friendship between two visionary beekeepers with a passion for natural health. Fifty years on, 
Our vision has never changed, and it never will. We believe in, and stand for, a world where bees, nature, and people can thrive in harmony. A better world for future generations.